I recorded a quick little video yesterday, and as you can see when you import the video, it doesn't show a video. It only imports the audio. So, I had a uh, few ideas. I decided that I'd use the GoPro application to convert the videos over. Funny thing was, it seems to apply uh, some sort of a setting on it to increase the saturation and vibrance, but it's gone way too far. Uh, I look like I'm uh, drunk in the backyard uh, as opposed to having a natural skin color. It's brilliant red. I might have poison ivy or a rash or something, quite honestly. But um, if you notice my skin color here, it's you know pretty well normal. I've checked the advanced settings. There are no uh, filters on here for adjusting it, and yet um, it, it's on high quality. And yet um, I, I, I can't be I can't find out as to why this is happening. So what you do is you import your video. You click over here to convert. Uh, I'm not uh, editing it at all. It's actually used for clipping, which is quite handy. And then you click on uh, convert all. Now, this is actually quite handy if you have a large video and you've only used the first little bit. For example, I've had a number of videos that I've done where the first uh, 20 seconds is good and then nothing happens after that. Well, you, if you want to include that 20 seconds in your video and you want to back it up with your project, you have to back up the whole video. So um, this would actually be quite handy to be able to clip those videos down, create smaller files, and then be able to import them into Premiere. Nonetheless, I was looking to uh, just convert this file over, thinking that it would uh, convert from an MP4 to an AVI file and uh, wouldn't have any problem. Now, if you take a look at this here, you're going to see the end quality. My face is bright red, sky is bright blue. Clearly, there is, um, you know, the, the intensity of the image has been brought up. Uh, but uh, it doesn't look at all like uh, the original file. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our C prompt and um, go over to our movies folder. Uh, we're going to type in FFmpeg. We're simply going to do a straight convert here. Um, what I noticed was that the files tended to uh, jump in file size. I believe the original file was 1.6 uh, gig and it came out to 49 meg. But uh, this is what I did here. So I type in uh, FFmpeg I, um, the GoPro file 9623 MP4. The file I was going to convert it to, I added FF to the end of it. Uh, dot .avi, and it did its conversion pretty quick. But if you take a close look at the um, file once it's completed, should finish up pretty quick here. If you take a look at the file once it's completed, you'll actually see it's a little jaggedy around the corners. It looks a little pixelated almost. Uh, around my face is, um, you can see it uh, pretty badly around my face. It's a little jaggedy. I'm not sure if you can see that in this image here or not. But uh, I just thought, wow, it's, it's really, really pixelated. So I looked for some options in regards to um, increasing the quality. And uh, here's the formula I found. So uh, it's ffmpeg-i, the original file name, and you enter in dash q uh, colon v6 with a space 6, just like it's written there. Actually, here, I'll show you. Just slide that over here. All right, so there you go. So it's ffmpeg-i, uh, the original file, dash q colon v space six and the output file dot avi and let's take a look at the quality difference on this one here so that looks crisp you swing around here to um when it gets the camera gets steady um 
you can see the color looks good. You can see it's not pixelized and um, it's uh, nice and clear. But let's compare it to the other ones and then you can see the difference. So you have the original file and this is run through um, the uh, our, our normal viewer. Uh, the VLC viewer rather. We'll just shrink this in over to here. See the colors? Colors look good. Almost exactly the same to the original. You can see the difference there with how red that face is and, and the color saturation in the background. I mean, it, it really has punched up the colors, I'll say that, but way, way, way too much. Um, again, I look like I've been drinking way too much to be using power tools. Anyway, so this is the formula. Um, it's uh, not uh, on a number of, uh, for, of pages. I've seen people using this um, codec. I've seen people using uh, a place called uh, Q mode, I believe is what it was. Uh, another one was a Q scale seems to be one dash same Q, which is supposed to be the same quality. None of these options worked for me. So I tried every one of them. Um, I, the, the, just none of them work. So this is the formula that seems to work. And uh, I hope it helps you guys out as well.